we think we're rolling. I'm gonna have you first. I'll have you sit down. Just kind of clap off your boots and slide all the way on back. Here? Yep. Yeah, if you sit down too far, you won't be on a cushion anymore. Sorry, Lex. <laughs> for both of you. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to have you lift up your arm so I can have this blanket just underneath it. Tuck this one in here. We're going to be going down or in between Black Diamond ski slopes. Okay. This rail and this other rail are the ways I control the sled. If I cannot get my hands in here, it's okay. going to be a very interesting ride. Ready, and ready, let's go! Up, up! Jabbar, knock it off! Jabbar. Looks like all my boys, especially Parker up there, the brown boy, they all want to really run. Yeah. So, <laughs> pretty excited. we're going to have a nice fast ride. Let's go! All right, so down here our first turn, we're going to get a little bit of help. Um, the reason is, is it's a 180 degree switchback, and <clears throat> one of the edges is slot, the lower end of slot, which is the Black Diamond Ski Slope. And these dogs know all the shortcuts, uh -huh. so if they get a choice, they will usually try to take them. <laughs> um, so we're going to get a little help just around the first turn, then after that, uh, say some prayers because we will be on our own. We should be on our own. <laughs> so this is Maggie here throwing her life in front of our sled. Hey Maggie. <laughs> She's one of our other veterans that helped me learn how to do this. Uh, so, and then Luke up here is our extraordinary lead out man. Are you ready Luke? Alright, let's go. Alright boys, let's go. Thank you Maggie. So Luke here is going to, like I said, keep my dogs nice and wide around this first turn. And we're going to probably get one of the best lead outs. Last time he gave me one, it was excellent. We didn't end up going down the ski slope, nor crashing. So, we're going to hope Luke goes two for two with us. Easy. Easy, boys. Easy. Easy. Let him go. Let him go. Come on, boys. Up there. Thank you. Look at that. Perfect. Good dogs. It's what we call a hairpin turn. Um, it's going to be a little rougher than that last turn that we took. We're not going to have any help. Come on, boys. We're going to need some speed. Come on, Roddy. You ready? to run with perfect for me. Alright, we're gonna get rid of this last chance so we can try to get going. We're not Come on boys. Yeah we were going good. <laughs> <laughs> well if we do get going too quick again let me know. Uh, good dogs. Come on. Good boys. You guys are running. Derek, you're a little slow this afternoon. Come on. Come on, guys. Hup, hup, hup. Come on. This is what we call second safety. Mm -hmm. um, just to program into our dogs to always stop here. Let's go. Um, just in case if for any reason one of them were hurt, I'd be able to go up, walk up the line, disconnect them, and let them walk on home uh, at their own kind of pace instead of being stuck here on the gang line and possibly further injuring them. But, uh, <coughs> but they would go home? They do. They automatically wander home. If these guys get free in the night or when we're harnessing them, somehow they get free. Usually what they do is they run the whole entire trail turn around and come back. Good boys. That's um, left, right? 
That is for a left, <laughs> and for a right is G E E. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't want to say no, no, just to confuse them. But this is what I like to say is the beginning of my office. From here out, it's going to get a lot better. Um, yep. And so, running next to yeah, Lacey behind Parker is a boy I just actually acquired today. This is my first time running him. And running the with the brown one on the left. The brown one on the left, yep. And running with him is uh, we have a little saying uh, she's big, she's dumb, and she's <laughs> Bailey. Uh, usually, most of our girls are very smart. Bailey is our typical boy. Uh, she's big, she's dumb, but you can see she really pulls. Uh, that's the reason why she is in back. Usually, it's always boys closest to the sled because they're big and strong and usually girls are further up at the front because they have a little bit more of that streamlined body they're quicker and they usually do pay attention a little bit better come on guys <laughs> that so pose <laughs> that's what jd did it at doggy school oh really yeah <laughs> proud moment <laughs> good dogs oh, look at that. so we are actually on a private ranch easy and actually one of the other mushers, that's where he lives during the summer, right across the stream. Right there, oh, really? cool. Oh. Yep. Oh, so. good. It's usually the picture for January on the calendar right through the trees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, but no, he's, we have, uh, or this ranch, this, we're on a private property, has about 300 head of cattle. And uh, he's actually from New Jersey. So yeah, he tries to play, uh, I guess, like a cowboy and round up you know the city slicker i guess you'd say is the best way but uh come on guys now he's got it pretty nice he works out here and then he lives there and come on come on baby come on doggy i know it's wet come on No, so these guys, um, usually when they kind of stop pulling like that, what they like to do is they will look back and see if I'm standing on the sled <laughs> or if I'm off helping them push or walk. And then if they don't see me on the sled, then they'll start pulling it. If they see me on the sled, they'll usually stop. <laughs> uh, they want to make sure I'm getting You're my exercise. Too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The snow doesn't bother their feet. No, not one bit. Um, this is actually a hot day for them. Um, but this is what I like to call my office. Yep. Yeah. Here in a couple minutes, we're going to be stopping. We'll get out of the sled. If you want, take some pictures. You can pet the dogs, even though the movie says not to. Okay, <laughs> These aren't that vicious of dogs. You only have known to eat in a couple people's fingers. <laughs> no, they won't bite at all. But their ideal temperature, these guys love to run when it's about negative five degrees. Wow. Um, that's like us playing sports when it's about 85, 80. Um, you know, you, you sweat a little bit, but it's not too hot. Um, and the closer, the warmer and warmer it gets on a day to, like today, it's like us trying to play sports when it's about 100 degrees out. It's uh, usually... I can get a lot more power and performance out of these dogs the colder, colder. it gets. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the main reason why they stay so warm and they like it so cold is these guys will burn in between. The younger ones um, will burn up to somewhere around 16,000 calories a day. Wow. The older ones will burn about 12. These are all mutts, um, but they are all mixed with Alaskan Husky. I'll ask him Malamute. Okay. Um, easy. Easy. One second here. How about Jabbar and uh, Worthy? James up there might bark a lot, but I promise you they're not ferocious. No, don't scream a lot. 
He's ready. Come on, let's go. Good boy, Parker. Good girl, Bailey. Come on, girls and boys. For my knees. So this next little bit that we're going up nice and slow is what we call a roller coaster. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go down it now and try to stay away from any trees. That's always good. <laughs> back of the ugliest part of our tour. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> this has been great. Uh, yeah. We're going to try to get one last little hoot right here flying into the kennel as quick as we can. All right, boys, girls, come on up. <laughs> up, up. <laughs> come on. Oh, good dogs. Easy! Whoa. Oh, that's a big dog. Easy! Easy! One moment here while I get us tied off. Easy! <laughs>